All right, now that we have MDL included into our MDL press WordPress theme, let's go ahead and add the styles to our SAS files, which will be in here. So we can do this with Gulp pretty easily. I've actually done this in a different theme as well. So if you go to my repositories and you go down to kickoff bootstrap 3, here you can see I used underscores, gulp, and bower with bootstrap to um, make a theme here, a little starter theme. And in my gulp file, you can see down here in the, the SAS area, right above it, I have this include paths. And you can tell what you want it to compile and minify and everything with this includes path. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab this. Copy that, and in my Gulp file, right here. So you can see here that I have this variable called config.bower directory, and you can see that set up here. So the bower directory is root slash bower components, which is this right here. So I open that up, and we can get rid of this one now because we don't have font awesome. We're going to be using Google fonts. You can see here that this needs to be material design light and this will be SRC. We could probably leave it just like that. See, then we'll need to include this file here in, in our SAS directory. So let's save that. And then in SAS style.scss, let's just put it up here. We're going to pretty much copy one of these. Copy. And we can include, what's it called? Material design light just like that so save so material design light probably has some of these other things like normalize and you know some of these things we're going to use material design to style so we'll end up being able to uh, remove some of these imports but for now let's just get it up and running and then we can come back to that later so now I need to go uh, to terminal and run my gulp watch task which is gulp it's watching then if I just make any kind of change, save, you can see here that it minified everything. So if you go down to the bottom here, you see we have a style sheet. You can see that this style, this is the unminified version, but it's adding all the things that are in this file it's just going line by line and importing all these different things so style.scss or style.css you can scroll through here and see this is all the material design stuff and then if you just keep scrolling you know it's a huge file you can start seeing all the different things there and then we have the minified version which is the one that we'd end up using in our in our theme so it's minified faster loading, better performance for our theme. So this is when we need to go into our functions file and within the functions you can see this is where they include the style sheets. So right here this is just the regular style which is fine for now since we're doing a local development but when we go to production, we'll want to make sure that it's using the minified version. Uh, we can do that later. So again, I have MAMP set up in, in a local directory. And my dev URL is this here. Then I go to WP Admin. Now I just want to make sure that uh, Material Design Light is actually included in my theme. So as soon as my admin panel loads, do 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 appearance themes. I'm going to activate the theme that we're developing on now. I have a ton in here, as you can see, that I, I work on. 
here we go MDL press so that's activated let's reload the home page here great it's uh, exactly what you expect from the starter theme so let's inspect the page here and um, I'm going to go to the head you see this, the style sheet here and there you go if you open up the style sheet you can see that material design light has been included pretty cool so now we can start using the material design light SAS to start styling the rest of our theme but we need to do one more thing and that's include the JS so back to our files if you go to the Bower components um, you can see here that there's this material.min.js and if we go into our JS folder you can see that we have all these different uh, JS files and they actually get included in here instead of enqueuing all these JS these different JS files I'm going to include one and then it'll minify it for us with our gold file so you can see down here scripts you can see right here that it's looking for a JS slash manifest.js and that's where we'll include all the scripts that we want it to go run through and create a, a minified version for so it's pretty cool so we don't have to have all these different JS files in our WordPress head again it makes it smaller better performance so to see this in action we can again go to our to my my github page repositories the same one uh, the kickoff we'll go down here to our JS you can see here that there's this manifest.js and you can see this is how you get included here so what we need to do back in our files is just create a new file paste that in there and instead of you know bootstrap of course we want to do MDL so it would be MDL material design light and we can get rid of this and it would be material dot min dot js perfect so let's save that in our js as manifest.js save that there and now when we redo this gulp since we add a new file we need to restart gulp so it sees that there's this new file in here so when we save this file it runs through and see you can see our gulp task is complete and what it did for us in our JS folder it created this disk directory and we have these scripts now so you can see it included material design both in a regular version but since we included the minified version here this script is already minified so what if we would have done the regular version uh, material JS without save that see the gulp task is going to run again open this up so you can see it's unminified so you can keep it unminified if you want to because this script.min.js is going to be minified for us so perfect so the next thing to do is now that we have this script file is of course in our functions file we want to add this we want to enqueue this minified version so we can copy this pretty much put it at the end here MDL I'm just gonna call it MDL JS because that's all it includes right now and it's in our JS slash dist 
slash script dot min dot js and call it version 1.1 1.0 0. Save that in the array. We probably want to say that we need jQuery. I don't know if I need to check that. I don't know if uh, Material Design needs jQuery. Maybe vanilla jQuery. I mean, vanilla JavaScript. So let's just get rid of that for now. In the future, if uh, you're your scripts need jQuery, you can include jQuery in that array and it'll automatically include jQuery above your script so you don't have to include jQuery yourself. It's a pretty cool little uh, WordPress trick. Okay, anyway, now that now that's saved, we can reload the front end of our site, inspect the element, inspect the page, we don't have any console errors. If we go down on the footer here, you can see right here that our script has been added. If we open that in a new tab, you can see that that is all the material design. Great. So we have material design, the SAS files included into our, into our theme and also the JavaScript. So now moving forward, we can start using the SAS and the JavaScript to start styling our page, making it look more material design. So I'm gonna end this tutorial here and we'll pick up right where I left off.